What's up, nerds? December is typically a quiet month for releases, but we have 10 here that have snuck into the tail end of the year to give you something to play over the holiday break. Solar Ash finally releases this month after a long development journey and some delays from the same team that gave us the modern indie hit Hyper Light Drifter. If the visual style wasn't already striking enough, then the 3D action platforming gameplay is also sure to impress. Solar Ash is set to an intergalactic backdrop, focusing on fluid character movement as players navigate a black hole dimension. If you're after a hefty visual novel adventure for the holidays, then Danganronpa Decadence has you covered, bringing together all the main titles in one place on your Nintendo Switch. Of course, this is mainly for those who might have missed out on the original PlayStation Vita releases or the Reload release, but even longtime fans looking for an excuse to marathon these games over the holidays can look forward to having them on their Switch, available as both bundled and individual releases depending on your eShop region. What was supposed to launch with the Xbox Series X and S last year now arrives just in time to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Xbox brand. Halo Combat Evolved completely changed the console FPS genre back in 2001, and so the eagerly anticipated and delayed Halo Infinite has quite a lot of pressure on it. The multiplayer beta launched back in November to much adoration from longtime fans, and here's hoping the single player campaign delivers on its epic ambition when the game finally launches in December. Xbox Game Pass subscribers will also be able to download the game at launch. With a monochrome style and a hybrid RPG battle system, Wolfstride simply looks cool. With artwork inspired mainly by the vivid style of the anime Gurren Lagann, this game might be the cult classic of 2021. Earlier this year, we had an opportunity to get our hands on an early build of the title, and needless to say, we were excited. The game launches in December for PC, with a new demo currently available for players to check out. Danganronpa isn't the only Vita classic appearing on Nintendo Switch, as it will be joined by an enhanced and expanded edition of Demon Gaze. As a dungeon RPG, this one comes from developer Experience, who undoubtedly had an excellent 2021, with a compilation release and the recent launch of Undernauts. If you can't get enough of these DRPGs, then Demon Gaze Extra is another one to add to your Vita library. Still, unlike those other releases by developer Experience, this one is a collaborative effort with Kotakawa Games, and features a vibrant and striking visual style. A long-lost and nearly finished arcade game finally gets released decades later on the Nintendo Switch, and this is definitely one that fans of the 90s arcade gaming era will want to check out. The 2D graphics alone showcase the best of a bygone era, back when character sprites were meticulously detailed and animated like a cartoon. As a puzzle platformer, this looks like a lot of fun, especially with the vibrant stages and all kinds of randomness going on. This is one for the arcade enthusiast. We got some new Pokemon games and even some Digimon keychains while we patiently wait for Digimon Survive. But who here remembers Monster Rancher, a game that gave new life to your CD collection? Monster Rancher 1 and 2 DX may not have you rummaging for old CDs anymore, but the experience remains intact otherwise, and this release features enhanced editions of two PS1 classics. Although you won't be able to insert CDs into your Nintendo Switch, and no, don't even think about trying, the release will contain a digital database of songs that will emulate the original experience. So if you're burnt out on Pokemon, then Monster Rancher just might be what you need. The space shooter genre has consistently evolved over the years, but it rarely offers an intriguing narrative alongside its dogfights. Chorus gives players the depth that three-dimensional shooters excel at while also providing them with an emotional journey. As Nara, players will discover her dark past and learn more about what she once sacrificed to escape her past after she is forced to confront her actions. This is definitely an adventure to look forward to, with customizable options, player choice, side missions, and space exploration. Dairoku, Agents of Sakuratani, has players play the role of Shino Akitsu, a government employee working for the Occult Action Department, a job interview she likely aced due to her ability to see spirits, apparitions, and other otherwise unseen creatures. Assigned to the 6th Special Prevention's office, she monitors the powerful beings who travel between different spiritual realms. With so many strong visual novel releases in 2021, Dairoku hopes to stand out from its competition with its supernatural premise. Hashihime of the old book town Append tells the story of a young man called Tamamori, who starts working at a used bookstore in Jimbocho after failing the Imperial University exam. However, instead of studying properly, his undisciplined self starts getting delusional, with dreams of one day becoming a prominent writer. Once strange events start happening around him, the limits between fiction and reality will begin to crumble. It'll be up to the player to do their best to investigate what's going on in this rainy town, and see the story through to the end in its multiple routes. Thanks for watching. Be sure to let us know know what games you're looking forward to this month in the comments below.
Pixel.